You ever have one of those days when you just can't figure out what's bugging you? I don't know what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to the Mobile Forge. Um, yeah. Decided I was going to pick this guy up anyway. That's my lunch. There we go. Power of the Prime Scrapnel, which is actually Generations Scrapnel that came out like five or six years ago. And then like, you know what? No, we're just gonna we're just gonna redub it for the Power of the Prime series, and we're gonna call it good. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Why not? Which, you know what? I would normally be all annoyed and stuff for something like that, but I'm not. Because I didn't get a chance to pick this guy up last time. What the? <laughs> okay, this is kind of cool. Um, this would have been cool if they were different, but um, factory error! I got two amalgamous scrapnel cards. Um, takes the form of lightning. Okay, two cards, and apparently the bug can turn into lightning when he he pairs up with Amalgamous Prime. Whatever. And come on, come on, come on! Release him from his plastic prison. One of these days I'm going to do this. I'm going to spear myself in the leg. All right. According to his one-sentence bio, blast enemies with jolts of electricity. Alright. Not only can he turn into lightning, but he can blast you with lightning. Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's take a closer look here. We have Power of the Prime's Shrapnel. Hmm, right, right in the light, too. Pretty cool. Yeah! He is a bug with electrical powers. Uh, yeah, like I said, this one was, uh, this one was, like, uh, five, six years ago now in the Generations line. Um, it was good then. I just never got a chance to pick it up. Um, that was, like, right around that time where I was kind of, sort of, collecting Transformers, but not really collecting Transformers. Um, like, I was still very, very, and do I need to pick it up or not? I don't know. I was having some issues. But I got through them, and I'm back to it. Um, I or if you watched one of my old videos that were absolutely garbage, um, you saw that I already have kickback, so I'm one away. I still got to track down Bombshell, and we'll have that set up, and we'll have the Insecticons. Um, he looks pretty good. Uh, he's got a really, really tiny head. Um, the other thing I like is each one of the Insecticons, their the yellows on them were different. He had just a, like a flat yellow. Bombshell had like a goldish yellow, and um, kickback was 100% trans. I almost, I almost copied Emgo there. Dang it, Emgo, you're doing this to me. Transparent yellow plastic. Emgo made up a word a while back called, and he says transclearant, and I say it from time to time because I've been watching him for so long. You corrupted me, Emgo. So anyway, Scrapnel. They redub. It's a change of the name. He was originally called Shrapnel. I'm going to keep calling him Shrapnel because it's cooler and Scrapnel kind of sounds dumb. But Bugman, um, good posability. I mean, it's a, it's one of those cases where these Legends figures have awesome posability. You know, ball joint in the shoulder, ball joint in the elbow, nothing at the wrist. Um, he's got the static bug legs hanging off of his arms, and he also has uh, bug legs hanging off of his back. Those don't move either. Um, ball joint in the hip, ball joint in the knee. All really good rotation. I mean, he's got all kinds of good posability. And also, these move a little bit. Not a lot. That's more... I mean, they're on, like, soft... Um, like, notch. They're, they're not ratchets. They just notch from spot to spot. Um, but, yeah, still good. Uh, we're going to get to the transformation real quick. I don't remember how to transform him, so it's going to be a learning experience. So, if I remember correctly, it's... Yeah, you point his feet down... And you 
flip these uh, these panels on the sides of his legs here, they actually flip forward to the fronts of his legs. And then his legs tab together pretty simply. There we go. Just like that. Um, hold on a second. Got to kind of move his robot arms out of the way. It's not it's not an easy thing to do, and this is... This is going to be bad, okay? This video is going to have some issues. Um, so then, you flip his uh, other bug legs. Oh, wait, duh. Okay, his whole chest bit, that's what I was doing wrong. His whole chest bit comes up on a double hinge here, and that covers up his face, like that. Then, okay, yeah, then you roll his robot mode arms down in like that. Um, you got to make sure the shoulder is flat against the back, and then the top of the arm is flat against him. And there are these little bitty tab spots right here. That tab, there's a tab right here, right at the tip of my finger. Those tab in right there. That's what I was doing wrong. It's a learning experience. I learn something new every day. I'm making myself look like a fool. And I'm enjoying every second of it. Okay. Now, once you do that, you actually dupe his little pincers into place up front. Now, gotta now his um, his robot mode pelvis thing right here actually comes undone from here, folds down like this, and then you roll his legs up in like that. They don't seem to tab into place unless I'm having another moment, but they hold in place just fine. And just like that, we have a bug. Bug. The bug. Bug. <laughs> yeah, this is this is yet again another good representation of the the G1 form of kickback, not kickback, kick shrapnel, shrapnel. 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 I know words. I, 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 I know my words. I use my words all the time. I even make some up. So yes, here we go. Very good representation of shrapnel. I, actually, I was actually kind of disappointed when I couldn't find this guy anymore. Um, mine has like slightly off pincers. I think that was just from the packaging. It probably warped a little bit. Um, no reason that you can't, like, heat it up with a blow dryer or something and fix it. But, yeah. I like him. He's a cool little bug. And he can go right on the shelf with kickback. And then I just gotta track down Bombshell. And I will have a in, an entire set of the G1 Insecticon Generals. Well, they were kind of generals, not really. Um, yeah, I'm kind of rambling on this video. But, you know, that was a learning experience. I got a cool... Decepticon bug. I have a very small Decepticon collection, so this is a cool thing to add to it. And, yeah. I think that's all we're going to do with that. That has been Power of the Primes, formerly Generations Scrapnel. With a factory error and two amalgamous cards. <laughs> and I have been the Smithy. And I'll catch you next time, guys. Oh yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you can. I gotta, I gotta remember to do that. Also, Twitter is in the description down below, and follow me there if you want. I'm trying to use that regularly. We'll try this again. Scrapnel, Smithy. Bye bye.